who warns. And that is how the warning came. And she's a very fiery personality which warns everyone. So on one way she has proved my coming here, that I am here. Perhaps maybe to the people who are Aboriginals they might understand that this is what was prophesied and that has happened. And also that you people have to realize it's a warning that you cannot just allow Sahaja Yoga to drift in such a manner that it takes its own course and works out and you are just by the way there. So this is a warning of Sri Krishna's sister Vishnu Maya, which is Saraswati herself, and that is what today we are going to worship her. Only the Sahaja Yogis, those who are enlightened people, can worship Maha Saraswati. Otherwise, people can only worship Saraswati because with worship of Saraswati you can read books, you can uh, create dances, music for the amusement of human beings. But actually the Saraswati Puja is meant for uh, people of ordinary uh, awareness, means ordinary or normal human awareness. But for Sahaja Yogis it is the Maha Saraswati which is to be worshipped. Now, as I have told you, this Maha Saraswati becomes the Vishnu Maya. And she is Vishnu Maya, so you have to be person that you should yourself should inform people like the Vishnu Maya does what Sahaja Yoga is with your fiery talks with things of exciting them, telling them, what are you up to? But what I've seen is that mostly uh, when people speak they try to be very gentle and sweet, like Sri Krishna. We tried that in America, that it might work with Americans, but it did not. They like people like, say, that uh, Graham fellow or somebody like that who talks in a fiery way. And I think this is what we have to learn from yesterday's experience, that you need really some fiery speakers and fiery people, because they are not at all sensitive to normal uh, sensations. See, they, all their sensations are dead, I think. They have become uh, numb and you have to give them some shocks. They like shocks. See, newspapers have to give them shocks, uh, uh, any event that is shocking, that can only attract their attention. Even the music has to be so much that it should break the rocks, so it should be such music that will just break their heads. So they have become really uh, rocky people. And you have to understand that their rockiness can only be shattered by Vishnu Maya. And that's why this puja that we have today in Vancouver has a very great significance, not only for Canada, but also for America. Americans are taking for granted. Whatever disease is coming today, whatever drugs they are taking, whatever destruction they are doing to themselves is still not uh, in their understanding. They don't understand what they are doing to themselves, how they are destroying themselves, how such a precious human life uh, they are wasting just for their own whim and for their so-called freedom. So it is extremely, extremely important that you should try to tell them in a fiery way, what are you doing? Why are you deceiving yourself? Why don't you understand this is wrong? At least for the progeny, you tell them that we did this wrong, but you should not do it. All this kind of talk has to be there and people have to get ready for such uh, great speeches and things. But to say that people uh, uh, won't like it, I think is the other way now. Unless and until you frighten them, they are not going to be with you. So you have to tell and warn them. And that's what the Mishnu Maya yesterday has suggested, that now take to a new style of strategy and talk to people in a way that whenever you are doing, say, you are doing a course, at the end of the course you have to say that, now see, Sahaja Yoga is not for only for doing course, but is for your well-being, for your benevolence, and you have to go further with it and you have to grow. Now don't leave it halfway. It's not like just sprouting the seed, but it has to become the tree 
otherwise nobody can be helped. So, you see, just tell them the, uh, all the dangers of not being properly brought up or matured in surgery. It has to be